Randy Ruiz is there knowing that if you want, you know, that Eddie, Eddie, Eddie could easily kick him out if, he, if he's not disciplined. So you, we can see the change. His, his legs, he looks, he looks a lot thinner too. And, uh, and you know, they, I haven't seen any sparring or anything, but I'm sure Eddie pushes his fighters. Right. You know. Those are the words of <clears throat> Robert Garcia as he critiques Eddie Reynoso's training regimen over his stable of fighters. You know, of course, Eddie Reynoso has Canelo, he has Andy Ruiz, he has Oscar Valdez, he has Frank Sanchez, he has a, 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 a slew of fighters, okay? Um, and Robert Garcia pretty much hit the nail on the head with what is expected of Andy Ruiz because Andy Ruiz is that last guy, okay? He's that last component uh, on this round of fights that needs to prove himself, okay? He hasn't fought since 2019, all right? It's going up on, is it June? No, um, so if it's June, it's, he's been he's not, he's not been in there in a year and seven months or something like that, six months. So he has to show Eddie what's going on. But most importantly, he has to show him in that gym. And he's shown that, hey, he's trimmed up a lot. You know, he got he has a ways to go as far as, you know, working out. I think a lot of that, though, honestly, you know, 70 percent of that is diet. You can work out all day and you see and he's strong. You see him. He's always been fast for a big guy. But um, understand, understand it's one of those situations. And where. Andy has to work on his diet. He has to work on his diet. He has to uh, cut the carbs or whatnot, but not too many carbs. He has to eat probably more than he does. I don't know what his, you know, his, uh, his eating uh, situation's like, but a lot of times, you know, uh, whatever he's doing is working. Okay. So, uh, you know, everybody's diet is different. Everyone diets different, but as far as work, I do think Andy has to show some type of uh, progress, you know, or he will get kicked out. Because again, like Robert Garcia says, Eddie Reynoso doesn't need Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz needs Eddie Reynoso. I look at Eddie Reynoso as a guy that um, he's more like he's a calmer at Teddy Atlas, but a Mexican version. You know what I mean? He will, you know, expect things to you or from you. And if you don't do that, I think he will kick you out. And I think that's exactly what Andy Ruiz needs. Manny Robles was a trainer that says, hey, I'm going to do my job when the fighter allows me to do my job. You know what I mean? I think guys like Eddie, Teddy Atlas, Eddie Reynoso, those guys like that, they, 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 set, they put the money or the business part of training to the side, you know, and morally, hey, uh, we need this before we can even talk about training. That's why, if you guys can remember, when Teddy, when when Andy Ruiz called Teddy Atlas, Teddy Atlas told him what's expected of him, and I think that's why he didn't want to go with him because he thought, oh shit, this guy's gonna work my ass off. This guy called me a fat blob. This guy, you know, is going to probably work me until I throw up. But that's exactly what he needed at a certain point of time. Okay, he needed that. You know, maybe him and Eddie Reynoso jailed, but I think don't get it twisted. Just because it's not Teddy Atlas doesn't mean that uh, Eddie won't kick Andy Ruiz out. Because if you look at the slew of uh, trainers that has worked with Andy Ruiz, this ain't the only thing. And a lot of times people say, well, why do you give Andy such a hard time? It's not me that gives him a hard time as far as him kicking out or firing Manny Robles. What it is, is he's not the, Manny Robles wasn't the only person that trained Andy Ruiz, okay? So give you guys a little education. He's been with a lot of top trainers. I mean, a lot. He's been with Freddie Roach. He's been with Abel Sanchez, okay? And then those two guys are some of the top fighters, and uh, some of the top trainers and had some of the top fighters. Then came Manny Robles, okay? So, and they've all gave their account of, how Andy was, and the best person that did that was, in fact, Abel Sanchez. And Abel Sanchez was that person that, you know, did come out and say, you know, Andy, uh, he doesn't work hard like all the other fighters. He doesn't. He doesn't work hard. He looks for easy ways out. 
he makes excuses when certain things are expected of him to do. You know, um, I don't know what the workouts were or the particulars, but I know that when Abel explained the things that he wanted him to do, he either, oh, I don't want to do that or something else was wrong to make an excuse. OK, um, I think, <laughs> excuse me, I think that making an excuse is something especially when you compare that with yes men, I think excuses are easily found. Okay. And a lot of people do it. A lot of people come up with excuses. A lot of people will indeed, Hey, let me find an easy route. You know, one of the, one of the best rappers of the, of, of the nineties <clears throat> was big pun. Big pun had a bed and a microphone beside the bed because he didn't want to get his big ass up. You know what I mean? Because he was, he got to the point and then people allowed that to happen instead of saying, yo, no, you have to get up. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Christopher. Sure. Christopher Rios. That's his real name. Big pun. Sure. Pun. We'll get a, a mic over here. And then a lot of times he was rapping, he was laying down. You know what I mean? And that's an, an example of having yes men around you. So that's, that's exactly what you don't need. Okay. So, <clears throat> Eddie Reynoso, you know, is a guy that I think is showing people like, hey, I can reshape, I can reshape, I can mold fighters. But then again, like Manny Robles said, it's totally up to the fighter if he wants to open up to re to receive that. And, he, and by receiving that, he has to show that. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Roberto Garcia stating that Andy Ruiz had to show results or he was going to be kicked out of team or camp Reynoso. Tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.